Start recording. Chapter 3 complete. We're having Aster music. Well, what do you think? It's like a bazaar right here on the airship! Wow! And this is only the beginning. I've got big plans. Big. Let me show you around. Why settle for a shop when you can have four? My first stall's right over there. Second is just a ways down on your left. And number three and four are on a stone throw, only a stone throw away. All owned and operated by yours truly, naturally. How come you get to have all the fun? Hmm? We'll help run the source too, right, Leod? What about me? A store is not a store without a customer, Vaughn. <laughs> Alright, what do you got to say, Philo? Hi, Vaughn. <sighs> you don't look so good, Philo. You feeling alright? I'm just tired. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Listen up, everyone. I'm making my special soup for dinner tonight. To so save room. Yuck. Now I think I'm feeling sick. I don't see what to say. I don't feel so super after that soup. Oh, sorry, I forgot you actually like Pinello's cooking. I don't know, Van. This talk about Pinello cooking has me worried. She cooked for us all the time in Robin Aster. I don't remember any com anybody complaining then. We just didn't want her to feel bad, but up here, we're trapped. Well, let's see in a little secret, Kites. If you swallow it without chewing, you don't taste a thing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It looks like Bob Gumnan really likes the cafe. Maybe he sees something in Pinello's cooking that we don't. Oops. I say we make this area a cafe. After all, who can fight on an empty stomach? I'll take care of the kitchen. Pinello's cooking? I don't know. Really, Kites? There's no need to be rude about it. I know I'm not the greatest chef, or even a halfway decent cook for that matter, but still. Don't sell yourself short. I'd love for if you cooked for us. Speak for yourself, Van. Everything in the Sky Saloon has Tamaj's name on it. I think he's a little insecure. Of all the mutinous... Where can those petty ne'er-do-wells the right to cut me out? Without me, they're nothing! And that's just all that's be left of them when I'm done. If you ask me, you're getting all worked up over nothing. Quit your jabbering, boy! When I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you! Does that jaw of yours never stop flapping? We ought to be thankful we escaped with our lives, but what life have we without our home? Eagle are not meant to travel the skies in these crude vessels. Alright. What are you uh, selling? I believe this is another of Tamaj's shops. Yes, but not just any shop. The shop specializes in materials for the forge. Here you can sell materials you find in battle or buy new ones. Come by whenever you need that last hard to find material you've been looking for. None of that explains why Leod is running the shop. He's entitled to work here as anyone else. I couldn't very well deny him the honor, could I? I would not protest. Don't be modest, you've earned this privilege. Okay, back to work. Poor Pinello, indeed. What did you seek? I just wanted to talk. What is there to talk about? There, now we have talked. Alright, good talking. The great nomenclator naming way bids you good tidings, sir. I'm afraid I dozed off at the moment and awoke in this curious place. I have a penchant for ascribing names. Might I inquire whether you harbor such inclinations? Perhaps I might tempt you to rename your ship. What do you say? No, oh, its name is Steve. Fuck off. He actually did fuck off. Thank you for coming. 
This is the forge. Kate Kusith over there is our artificer. Master artificer, and I must object to you calling me Kusith. I do not call you Hume. The difference is there's all, all, there are lots of Hume, and there's only one of you. Stubborn thing. But with the right material, she can make weapons that better than most you'll find. She'll ask you some questions before starting, so be sure to pay attention. So you summon this, uh, Kusit, just to man the forge? It's not so simple as that, but I do answer to Master Tomaj. That's all you should need to know. It's a long story, and not a particularly interesting one. If I were you, I'd worry about getting Kus the right material to Kusit. It's worth the trouble. Thank you for coming today. How may I help you? Tell me something. I owe Master Tomaj more than you can know. If there's any way I can help him, I will try. Alright. Let's see what you can craft for me. Naturally, I'm going to want these, because these look like they're the best we have. Alright, so I need a furry hide and a brilliant ore. Fragrant wood and a green gemstone. So it looks like I'm going to need some furry hides. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this. I think I have this stuff for everyone already, so it's not like I can get anything new there. Speaking of, let's go into our inventory. Okay, aha, that's what I got. Plus 5 attack, plus 10 am attack. I like that they're giving her attack because she doesn't actually attack at all, ever. Alright, let's check out a ring of packs. What do we got here? Alright, so I got six, and I can only unlock here. So we can get Lamia, or Raiden, or Sagittarius, Siren, or Golem. Okay, so I think we need a caster, a flying, and a physical. So for physical, we gotta go with Golem, because he's the only one we have. This unlocks Kusith, which is a ranged, and Diablos, which is a flying. Uh, let's say we go with Lamia or Sagittarius for caster. Uh, let's go with Sagittarius, why not? And that unlocks Ramu himself! I can't afford him though. And for flying, let's get Siren. Then we can get Shivar. Shiva's cold hearted paramour. And Kuchulain. Kuchulain's actually a pretty decent melee one. If you want a water melee. Oops. Alright, so can I summon level 2 espers yet? Oh, I can! Well. Do I have any level 2 ranged? Okay, so we're gonna replace him with a flying water. Actually, you know, we're going to replace him with a physical. There you go. We're going to replace him with the flying. Or her with a flying water. And we'll replace him with a ranged. Uh, what element do we want? We got water already. Let's go with fire. There we go. Looks good. I'll play around with it some more later, but as you can see, we can now summon level 2s, which is awesome. Okay.
My poor people harbor no love of disorder. Even should the Sky Pirates fail to steal the stones, they've already robbed us of our peace. Okay, so the egg will never have it seem to have anything extra to say. All orosite derives from the auroliths. The astral crystal left when the aurolith was destroyed is a rare variety of orosite. You can channel that power to, that accumulates in the crystal to fortify your Yahi. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice of you to drop by, Van. I've gotten in a few new items you might be interested in. Rare eagle and sky pirate equipment at prices you wouldn't believe. Actually, I wanted to ask you about that. How come you charge us for all this? Do you think these wares are going to stock themselves? It's simple. You make money, I sell you weapons. Take that money and buy new, stronger weapons. So have a look at the notice board and get out there and make me some money. Right. I just wanted to talk. Let's see what you have to say. You don't think anyone's expecting you to get paid for working here, do you? I doubt Liu does, but Penelo might be a different story. Hmm. I better think about that when setting my prices. Alright, what do you have to buy? Oh, I can actually buy a flame tongue. I may actually do that, because it's... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, ruby chest plate. It's probably better than what I'm using. Bard's tunic. Alright, so the objective here is to save up and buy all of these things. Gotcha. Ooh, I want that. Okay, goblin patch. Get you extra items at the end of battle, which is cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go into our equipment here real quick. So I did actually see something extra for Vaughn. Oh, okay, battle boots. Pain chain gives the user a chance to deal an extra attack with each hit. We're gonna equip those. I like that. Okay, we're gonna go back. Go to the bridge. The judge of wings was using the cash to siphon energy from the Aurolith. Do you think we could restore an Aurolith if we found a way to return that energy? I cannot say. The Murakakua Kahuak Sky Sea is the largest isle in Nemurus. Lemurus. I should think you should be very interested in what I have to say. So say it. About this sky city. Apparently hordes of sky pirates are descending upon it as we speak. No doubt in search of the Aurolith. Meaning we'll be fighting every step of the way. Sure this is where you want to go? It's our best shot at finding the Judge of Wings. This is the chance we've been waiting for. We made a sky saloon that would be the envy of East Evil East Company itself, but it feels like something it could use something. Guess what I found right here in the ship? Actually, just give up because you'll never guess. It's a fold out canoe! This might come in handy at the Sky Sea. Speaking of setting sail, guess who's at the helm? That's right, me! Ready when you are, Captain. Ready to launch, Captain? Not just yet. Leod hasn't been the same since the Aurolith. They're really important to the Eagle, aren't they? Yeah, that couldn't have been easy for him. We just have to stop the Judge of Wings before this happens again. Awesome. Wait, you're at home? We will. We can't be the only one the Sky Pirates out there trying to help the Eagle. If we find any others, we should bring them to the airship. Strength in numbers, right? Philo teases me because I don't go charging into battle. I say it's better to think first, charge second. I haven't seen your name in the log lately, Vaughn. Don't forget you promised Pinello.
When Vaughn lets us into the shrine, the Orlith was just out in the open, just asking to be stolen. The egg will share our trusting. Well, they never had anybody to worry about before. Strong winds worry at my wings in spite of fair weather today. I know of no eagle who would steal as sky pirates do. Sneaking into the shrine the other day reminded me of breaking into the palace. I'd never have, I'd have never met Balthier and Fran if it weren't for that. Now we're practically inseparable. Practically. Business has been brusque, and I've thought of a good way we can put the sky saloon to. I've also given a taken in a stray Yarhi. I think there may have been a place for it in my plans. Master Jamaj, I must object to you calling me it. I am a master artificer, and you cannot ex expect to receive my services if I am not treated with proper respect. So are we going to find fight the Judge of Wings, the one Balth even Balthier couldn't beat? I'd give Balthier a little more credit, wouldn't you agree, Van? It'll take more than that to stop Balthier. Something bad always happens to the leading man in the first act, but everything gets straightened out by the end. I'm sure he's already off hunting treasure. He'll turn up before we have a chance to miss him. Oh, I almost feel bad for Bagamnon. Even those other Banga he's always with don't want anything to do with him. But that's what he gets for terrorizing people all the time. Does anybody appreciate all I've done? The shops in the Sky Saloon, the Nutterspard? I'd have to say I've done pretty well, because no one else will say it for me. I appreciate you, Master Tamaj! Lovely. Alright, that's that. Let us save. Start chapter 4 and then do a mission on Tamaj's notice board, probably. I'm 23% done the game now. Ready to launch, Captain? Full speed ahead. You can now travel to Port Marilith. Breathtaking port overlooking the Sky Sea. It is customary for Eagle to travel to the Sky Sea by ship rather than fly. And the port bustles with travelers. Shadow Paharo. You can now travel to the Shadow of Paharo. The oldest ruins on the Isle of the Megalith. They have stood since the forging of the Lemures. The age will fiercely defend the ruins and the priceless treasures within. Alright. Well, we're not going to worry about there right now. Okay, th that's actually on the island we were just on. And the other one is way over here. On the, where that flashing red dot is. Alright, Tomas, let's see what I have for you. Bubbles and Banditry. A band of ill-favored sky pirates on Tormelados is forcing Eagle to do their dirty work on the Kisne Rise. Teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. Alright, let's do it. Come back in one piece! Begin the mission. Yes. Bubbles and Bandistry. The Kisne Rise. Blast! What's taking those eggles so long? Hold it right there. So you're the ones making the eggle do your dirty work for you. Who do you think you are? What of it? A wise leader uses what resources are at hand. There's no shortest of eggle here. Why not put them to some use? Or is that a problem? Yeah, a big one. You'll soon learn the price of sticking your nose in our business. Destroy the enemy soul crystal. Your soul crystal must survive. Alright, this could be interesting. You like the entries there? Okay, good. Begumnant, normally I would be like, alright, let's 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 bring you, but I'm actually more concerned with There we go. Alright. What have we got? Uh, okay.
Oh, I didn't see that little one was still alive. You little shit. There we go. Alright. So we're gonna summon for you one of them. Alright, well let's just fortify our bunnies then. And our golem. There we go, alright. No one's a glutton for punishment. Alright, Penella, uh, let's have you cast Faith, please. No, Penella or kites. All right, so for you, we're going to summon. Can't have you attacking my soul crystal there, buddy.
Oh, I got two black mages right there. That's going to be painful. Alright, I think I can do it, but it's going to cost me some troops, I think. That's alright. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. My team's getting their butt kicked because they're not using their abilities very well. We got battle royale here.
down she goes. Crap, I'm losing my pets again. No. Difficult to get past this group up here. Because they're all concentrated in summoning out of that one gate faster than I can summon through all of my gates. And plus that, I can at least level up my pets, so that'll make it a bit easier. Definitely can't go on without Pinella, though, so... Let's summon... We are at war here, and I am winning slash losing. Well, at least Kite's got his cast off before he died. I need someone to go take that. Yeah! She's got the gate.
Damn it, I was so close and they managed to screw me over. This combat's taking me much longer than I had hoped. No, you're not getting that gate back, you sack of shit. I don't know if I can win this fight, guys. It's uh, taking a lot longer than I had hoped. Okay. That crystal's is not taking any damage.
all my bunnies are being killed. No, I cannot let you have that gate crystal. Come on, you guys can do it. Keep on the assault. No! I didn't do any damage to it, what the hell? Taking so long. <sighs> okay. See, they respawn really fast. Got it. Thank you, Philo. That only took forever. But you can catch the whole video on stream. <laughs> and on YouTube. I got lots of EXP for it, at least. Not as much as I would hope, but... 
2004 Nagil, Pure Silver, Fire Crystal, Aura Sight, Water, Icthon Scales. Alright, cool. The nerve enslaving people just to hoard treasure! Do you not seek treasure as they did? It's more than just treasure. It's the thrill of exploring new places, the adventure. I don't quite understand. Just give it some time, you'll catch on before you know it. Yes, we're gonna save, and that'll be it for today. I have to get ready for work, like, right now. <laughs> That took a lot longer than I intended. But, thank you very much for viewing today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.